You know, I think we, we take Tylenol, or aspirin, probably one of the most, I've seen more babies die from aspirin intoxication. You know, that was, that was you know, it hadn't been too long before we had to put the safety caps on the bottles. And we, and the, and we know we, you use Tylenol, you know, over the counter. 500 or more people die every year from Tylenol intoxication. And there has never, as far as I know, you know, you think, you know just because you said it this morning, then maybe it's right this afternoon. But there's never been a known death caused by marijuana intoxication. The reason why is you can't, pay, you can't get enough of it. You'll be out before you ever get enough of it. In fact, uh, so, so you, you just can't use it enough. So it really, in many ways, may be a protective mechanism. We know that marijuana is not just THC, that there are about 66 other chemical, uh, products, chemical products that are in this. It's just that THC is the most psychoactive, but now that we've been able to study the brain and look at all the brain receptors that are there, we know that whereas the, we may be relieving pain, but we have these other uh, cannabis-like, or we call them cannabinoids, if you will, who, that uh, really may get rid of some of the psychoactive effects, the mood-altering effect. Now, as I said, we've got to have the appetite stimulation, the pain relieving, and the mood-altering. So we have three different effects that's coming from, 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 the, from this medication, and all have different, we need them at different times. <clears throat> In the early 1990s, we learned that these marijuana components was largely, we had receptors in our brain and scattered throughout the body that would bind, that these marijuana receptors would bind onto. Then we began to study and we found that we had some endocrine uh, cannabinoids in the body. The body naturally made these substances to help regulate our appetite, to relieve our pain, and to alter our mood. I mean, this was just being done in 1990. So, so, and then some of it was just published in 2007. So we are, we're talking about, we're learning things. So we need to do more studies on this drug. But in 19, the, the federal government, you know, as you heard, passed out the cigarettes and gave people, but we deal, still have to study them very much. Well, in 1970 to 1980, these were complete. Well, 1970 and 1980, the government passed out and made the cigarettes, but we still didn't have absolute control. In 1980, they were really no longer available. They were no longer around to do, to do the kind of re re research. So we had to go to the streets to find the drug because you couldn't go to the drugstore. In the Netherlands and some of the other countries where they can control the level of uh, marijuana, a THC that's in the product, they can uh, go. To, you can go to your drugstore and buy it. You know who's getting it. You can also tax it. It can be taxed and it can be controlled. But what? But that's not what we are really talking about. Necessarily, so, you know, they have it, and you know, it's not all just totally medical marijuana. We are talking about medical marijuana. But you know, people are saying, well, you know, the products are pure, and we'll have more. Uh, intoxication. Well, like I just told you, you couldn't, you can't kill yourself smoking marijuana. So that's not that's not possible. And if for medical marijuana, we would like for it to be a little bit more, more concentrated. In fact, uh, you know, we're talking about eight to nine percent THC. Well, for in the Netherlands and for the drugstore pharmacies, it has to be at least thirteen percent. For it to be so, what this means is that if you're going to take it, you can just take a tiny bit, you relieve your pain, and you're done. You know, and you don't have to sit and be puffing. Uh, you know, people imagine people sitting around smoking all day, but that's not what medical marijuana is about. So, so I think we need to think about that and we need to know what we're talking about so we can begin to get some control.
They said that well, in many areas, if they if they make medical marijuana available, it's a gateway drug, and that means kids are going to be getting it and all that. Well, you know, we don't find kids running around dating the morphine because we have it out there. We don't have, and in the states, the 12 states that is approved medical marijuana, they have not seen an increase in uh, use of marijuana. In fact, it's gone down, but you know, they aren't trying to pretend that it went you're going to pass a law and it's going to go down. We're trying, we're telling you that we don't, we, we haven't seen an increase in the use. The thing that I think is very critical and we need to think about is all, just think of all the people now that we treat for, for cancer chemotherapy. And they found that this drug is very helpful to prevent the nausea and the vomiting for, for a lot of the cancer drugs. And if you can prevent the nausea and the vomit, then the body might soon be able to recover. But so many of these patients die of starvation because they can't keep anything down with any. We have patients with AIDS. One of the biggest cause of people dying with AIDS or HIV was starvation and infection. And if they were able to, they found that cancer patients, patients with HIV disease, was three times more likely to complete their therapy and 300% greater increase in them of being able to stay on their cancer chemotherapy. So, I mean, to me, those are, you know, that's for the appetite uh, stimulation and the nausea suppression, not, and not in, in addition to the pain, and the, you know, maybe some of it might be related to the mood elevation. They also found that this was true with hepatitis C. You know, a lot of our patients that have HIV disease and also have hepatitis C. And they did this study in <coughs> hepatitis C, and then that was published in 205. So we, so we found that there are many patients who are out there suffering with the nausea, vomiting, related to the HIV drugs, related to um, to pain that are able to do much better once they are, are, are able to use marijuana. Another area of extensive documentation we've talked about is pain, and, and I won't go through that again. The medical value of marijuana has been recognized more and more widely within the medical community. In fact, there, the American College of Physicians, which is 124,000 internists and all that, has adopted and signed on to uh, support medical marijuana. The American Public Health Association, the uh, HIV, the HIV AIDS, uh, American Academy of HIV AIDS, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society have all signed on. The American Nurses Association. In support of this, in support of this bill, or in support of medical marijuana, so I um, feel very strongly that this is something that we need to do. Finally, I'd like to be uh, briefly address some of the arguments that opponents of the legislation they raise, and I think I've already talked about. Uh, first, some will say that there are other medications that are available. And we've talked about some of those other medications, but we've mentioned that some people can't take those other medications. And then we have also mentioned that uh, if, you know, if you use the vaporized uh, marijuana, that it, rather than going into the stomach, having to be absorbed in the body, go out into the bloodstream, which takes an hour or two to get an effect, if you vaporize it, it hit the first place it goes. It doesn't go to the stomach and run all over the body. It goes immediately to the lungs and into the bloodstream. We're talking about in minutes. And so I think that that's really a good thing. And now that we have the vaporizer, that would be a very good thing. So I, I, again, I strongly support uh, uh, this legislation for, for those reasons. And I really appreciate the fact that you are going to do a study, you're going to look at it, and you're going to try to make a real important difference. Thank you. Thank you.